Blue. It's the recent announcement of Fallout 4. I thought I'd go back and finish a game I never actually managed to finish. I played through all of Fallout 3, but I never got further than like an hour or two into New Vegas. Wasn't a huge fan of some of the new mechanics they added, and I got kind of distracted and bored and never managed to finish it. I am going to be playing with mods. You can see I got like some texture mods going already. Um, nothing too much in terms of changing the gameplay. It's mostly just graphical stuff that hopefully will make it a little more enjoyable to watch. If uh, I can just export a list of all the mods I'm running, I'll, I'll probably throw them up in the description or something. I'm going to start a new game here. I'm going to skip the introduction stuff because I've seen it a million times and if you really want to watch it, you can uh, probably find another video of it on YouTube. It's nothing too complicated. Basically, you're asked to deliver a chip and uh, uh, like a poker chip. That's some kind of special thing. But then Chandler Bing shoots you in the head and steals it, leaves you for dead. And this guy finds you. I'm just going to skip through most of his dialogue because he's just kind of asking questions to set up your character. Whoa, easy there, easy. You've been out cold a couple of days now. Sure, why not? Most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay. Alright, uh I prefer to go with like um uh, just regular two handed guns, rifles, and uh energy weapons as a backup. So And then perception is always nice and endurance for higher carry capacity. Um social stuff can be fun, but it doesn't isn't really necessary, so uh, agility is for guns. Uh, perception lets you see enemies from further away, it's not terribly useful. Um, having high in, uh, intelligence, I think, is for repair. Um, it's nice, Up the endurance a bit. Luck is nice for getting critical hits. Uh, and why not strength? Okay, so here I'll actually like let me, yeah. Lock picking is nice. I don't want it armed. Um, sneaking can be useful and fun, but uh, I want guns, lock pick, and some about repair. That's keeping your weapons nice and you, uh, Nice and repaired is always useful. Okay, so we have to do Wild Wasteland. Uh, just adds weird and unusual stuff all around. Um, and then... Doo -doo -doo. Is it, uh, trigger discipline. More slowly, but more accurate. As soon as I like to use rifles, that's always nice. All right, I guess that about does it. Come with me, I'll see you out. All right, uh, before we leave, let's loot the place for anything we need. Bobby uh, pins, pick locking. Nothing. Always take ammo. Sure, why not a knife? Seeds. Food. Uh, don't need the syringe. I like how they just let you steal this place without it actually costing you any karma or anything. More clothing. Cigarettes are nice because they're really lightweight and worth a lot of money, so they're a really good sell item. Uh, 
Yeah, I'll take the food stuff. I think the pressure cooker is used for some weapon crafting, but I'm not going to bother that too much yet. Don't have any schematics or anything. Ooh, money. So, please a pistol. I don't know anything about the cybernetic stuff. Talk to Big. That's always nice. That gun. Some sarsaparilla. And I think that's all she wrote. And here's where the actual story starts. Here, these are yours. It was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin. But it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a Pip-Boy. I grew up in one of them vaults it made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on, too, so the locals don't pick on you for lack and modesty. It was my wife's. I think she was about your size, and she hardly wore it after we left the vault. Felt it was too brazen. Uh, don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Victor's fun. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. I will not be getting hardcore mode. I expect you'll be wanting to go outside after being cooped up for so long, but if you have... Uh, this here's Good Springs, named after the water we got here, just down the road to the southeast. Good Springs Source, they call it. It's a quiet town, and that's how we like it. We don't go looking for trouble, though occasionally it sees fit to come looking for us. I didn't see him or the men with him. You might ask around town, though. Could be someone saw which way they was headed. Your best bet would probably be Trudy, the bartender at the saloon up the road. If anyone saw anything, she'd know about it. You take... Alright. So some of the mods I'm running are uh, slight rebalancing uh, and adds things like bullet time, sprinting, um, grenade hockey, stuff like that. Gonna configure those real quick. Bullet time, sprinting.
think I changed too much. Just kind of leave them at their default default values. Alternative repairing lets me use more things to repair stuff with, like I can break stuff down into components and then use it, those components to repair broken weapons. What I got. got knife, laser pistol. Probably keep the knife on slot one. Pistol slot two. Machine gun four. Pistol on five. The jumpsuit on oh, thermohydrograph just lets me look at weather stuff. Let's have a weather mod installed. We have a good supply of food and drugs to start off with. Let's leave the radio out for most of the time. Let's look at our quests. So we want to talk to Sunny. Um, talk to Victor. Find the man who killed me. Uh, the um, cybernetic stuff. Probably be a while before I do that. Do back in the cell first, because that's kind of the tutorial mission. Go to the saloon. But first, I might look around a little bit. That's not a knife. It's a knife. Pistol, machine gun, is a rifle. I'll just use the pistol for the moment. like take all from stuff but I like to not do it just so that uh I don't have to worry about accidentally taking stuff I don't want so just make sure I manually take everything I don't think there's too much to do around the town until you get started on the quests most of these are boarded up sprinting is really nice for when you want to just get to where you're going General store. Nope. Don't want to steal. Got our workbenches for crafting. I believe that is Victor right there. Come back here. Yep. Howdy, partner! Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. 
I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. Saw what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were. So I hauled you off to the dock right quick. I'm a Securitron. Robco Security Model 2060B. If you ever see any of my brothers, tell them Victor says howdy. Happy trails! There. Right. I believe Victor lives up here. No, this is the graveyard. Well, and there's my first crash. All right, so that's uh, one of the downsides to running mods is you can occasionally crash or crash a lot. Uh, I went and downloaded the four gigabyte extender patch thing, if you know what I'm talking about to get it to uh, hopefully play a little nicer. So hopefully that's the last of that. Thankfully I didn't lose much progress. It just it saved, auto saved a minute back. So I think it's a little, oops, hello. A little funny that game managed to die in the graveyard. See, and this is one of the cool new weather effects added. See if we can find. Yep, this is where we were dug out of. Where Victor saved us. Uh, distinctive cigarette butt. Yep, our Mr. Chandler Bing is a smoker. Oop, I don't want I don't need a bunch of those. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's a quest item. Ah, huh. interesting. Well, at least I don't have any weight, so I don't need to worry about carrying them. I don't think there's anything else we can really do around here. Oh, what's this? Oh, snow globe. Huh. Don't remember that. Open grave, what? Oh, a shovel. But can take some of the food offerings left. They're not going to hit, they're dead. Anyways, I think it's about time we headed to the saloon. If I can remember where it is. I believe this is it. Yep, that's the back door. No. Don't know why you're sitting outside in weather like this. See you. 
I like a lot of the world building in this game. They just have people who have been influenced or affected by the, the world as it is, the legions and factions that have formed. The NCR, the New California Republic, is the quote-unquote good guys, and Caesar's Legion are the quote-unquote bad guys. You can end up joining either side if you want. They both have their ups and downs, but I haven't decided yet what I'll be doing. We'll make that decision when we come to it. <laughs> 